<laughs> On a winter's day in Novosibirsk, Olga Makarenko walks to work with her adopted 12-year-old daughter, Anya. There's an open house at her NGO, Stork Day, which assists adoptive parents and their children. <laughs> Olga used to volunteer at the orphanage where Anya once lived, and they share painful memories of the place. Olga also adopted Anya's sister Rita, and the girls joined Olga's two sons in a loving home. At Olga's NGO, adoptive parent Tatiana Savko shares a story about the conditions at one of Russia's state orphanages. Russia's orphanages have come under heightened international attention since 2012. That's when Moscow banned U.S. citizens from adopting Russian children in retaliation for economic sanctions against Russia. Three years later, Russian officials argue that the number of kids in orphanages has actually fallen, a positive sign for domestic adoptions. But Yevgenia Solovieva, an adoptive mother and advocate for families, says the law has only hurt children in need of homes. Спрашивают часто, изменит ли как-то статистику то, что отменили американское усыновление. Нет, не изменит. Улучшит российскую статистику усыновлений отмена американского. Нет, не изменит. Но судьбы нескольких детей, пусть их даже 50 будет всего, изменит. Это плохо. Я за слова классика, что после единка одного ребенка, наверное, важнее, чем все на свете. Those who work for Russian adoption organizations say statistics are easily manipulated. For example, by changing the status of orphans to children in temporary care. And there are Russian parents who believe the ban on U.S. adoptions has kept some children from finding new families. Мне просто стыдно. Мне стыдно за наше правительство, за Россию. То есть так так просто нельзя. Детям надо давать шанс. То есть все должны в конечном счете, чтобы у всех были родители. Vanya is one child whose fortunes have changed for the better. He was removed from an abusive family and placed in an orphanage. But today he is going home with a new mother and father. But stories like Vanya's don't happen every day. Не часто вот такие вот родители появляются, не часто вот знаете вот такая радость от именно усыновления. There are thousands of other children like Vanya in Russia who are waiting for new families to bring them home. But all too often, bureaucracy and politics stand in the way.